Where did this game come from? Hello everyone and welcome to Action RPG. I'm your host Aaron, and for today's video we're going to be checking out a game that almost got past me. I know it doesn't happen very often, but this one did. Title, Anvil Vault Breakers. And you can almost find no information on this title on the internet, which seems unbelievable because we're getting a release date in September. But don't worry, I have two videos for you today and some information. As always, I will share my thoughts. Please feel free to share yours in the comment section below and don't forget to subscribe to support smaller channels. All right. Let's jump right into this. Now, before we get into anything, I'm going to start with a quick one minute trailer to show off some gameplay for Anvil. Enjoy. I have a feeling I've piqued your interest. Come on, be honest. Right now we are on the official Steam page for Anvil. Take on the role of Vault Breaker in search of alien artifacts called Vaults and fight against monsters and powerful bosses. You can strengthen your breaker to explore the farthest galaxy that no one has ever reached. So the name of the game, Anvil Vault Breakers. The character that you play as are a breaker. That's what they're called. You're a breaker and you hunt vaults against monsters. Very simple, okay? Here is the reason I made this video. Right here. And I told you it doesn't take a lot to pique my curiosity. Online co-op and it's cross-platform. That's actually, somebody sent me this and they're like, hey, did you know this game's gonna have online co-op cross-platform and it looks like an action RPG. And I started doing research and now I'm making a video. So by the way, thank you that person for sending me that. Single player online co-op cross platform. I love it. Cross platform multiplayer. I love it even more. OK, release date September 1st. Developer and publisher both Action Square. Now, we really don't know anything about this game, right? I can't find any news articles. Unfortunately, there was a demo that came out right before E3. I didn't get to play it, which also sucks. So we're going to do a little bit of reading on the official Steam page, and then we're going to check out some system requirements. Anvil is an agency that searches for vaults, the remnants of alien civilizations scattered throughout the universe. Become a breaker searching for vaults and explore the unknown galaxy. Each galaxy consists of random planets and unique boss monsters. By defeating monsters and opening the vaults, you will be able to utilize stunning powers within. OK, loot. You're hunting. Loot. Breakers. The breakers are the seekers of the vaults. Very simple. They have maximized their combat abilities to survive various threats that they may encounter on different planets. Berserkers, breakers with unique abilities and skills are waiting to be selected. And you see that there's lots of different characters and each one is very, very different. Artifacts and vaults. My mouse isn't working. Over 100 randomly generated artifacts and dozens of weapons will make every session unique and different from previous. You will be able to explore a combination of different playstyles by testing synergy between various artifacts and obtain powerful weapons to get the ultimate breaker. That's what I'm going to have if I decide to play. Death and Rebirth. This is interesting. The breakers enter combat with their mechanical body. 
They are rebuilt in Anvil if they are destroyed during an exploration. Your breakers, your breakers will gain XP during battle that will enhance their strength and give them new powers. The breakers are not afraid of death because death only makes them stronger when they are rebuilt. And that right there is what they're talking about as far as roguelike. When you die, you get rebuilt anew as something new. I think that's what it's saying. System requirements for Anvil. Nothing too big. Windows 10, i7, 8 gigs of RAM, GTX 970 or 1060, and 10 gigs of storage space. Even though the visuals do look pretty good, it's not going to be too taxing on your GPU. But Anvil. I have watched some smaller content creators and talk about what they felt during the demo. And this is my only concern. And it's the same concern that I have for The Ascent. People talk about this game as a twin sticks shooter. And when a game is designed for controller, sometimes that doesn't transfer over good to PC. That doesn't mean it's not going to. It very well can play very, very well on PC, keyboard and mouse, but it's designed as a twin sticks shooter. So I'm just kind of putting that out there. And then on top of that, we really don't know anything about the campaign. It's going to be a long campaign. What's the multiplayer going to be like? But I do have to say, launching with online co-op cross platform, that is very exciting. Now, that's all I have for this game. I was not kidding. I searched back months trying to find information on this title, trying to find out development, and I can't find anything. The Steam page gives off more information than anything else I, else I could find because it's the most up to date. On here, they have their recent events and announcements. They just had their June demo. Unless they've been, look, they updated on June 20th and June 14th. So this actual Steam page, which I'll link in the description below, is where you get your information on Anvil. But that's really all I have. You now know as much as me. And if you played the demo, you know more. But I have to say, depending on the price, I might pick this up. I am looking for something to do with my family and my Discord community an online kind of action RPG game that we could all play together. Maybe Anvil is that answer. Now, what I'm going to do is play for you five minutes of gameplay. And of course, at 4K, five minutes of gameplay that they actually dropped action square. And I'm going to allow that to take out this video and maybe that will ultra sell you on wanting to play this in September. OK, now, before I do that, if you haven't joined the official Action RPG Discord, please do so. We're approaching 1,000 members, great conversations every day. The idea is to create a gaming community that could jump from game to game together so you never start the server alone. Link for that Discord is in the description. I hope you all enjoyed this short video on Anvil. Maybe you were entertained or at least learned something. Aaron, out. <laughs>